Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in. My name is Shaitan and in this video we're going to look at Joomla 4 Beta 7 which is a recent version that was released two days ago. The biggest difference in, or I wouldn't call it difference, the biggest feature that has been added to this version is Bootstrap 5. Now for those of you who don't know what Bootstrap is, Bootstrap is a templating framework and basically think of it as you know every website needs to have buttons forms menus and it just includes all the all the css for those basic elements and once you have the basic css in there you can style it as is so cms's like joomla need or use frameworks like bootstrap to build everything to speed up the process so people are familiar with it and for years Joomla has been running an outdated version of bootstrap so Joomla 3 runs an older version and template developers like ourselves well, asteroid for example our template framework we have kind of hacked and added the newer version into Asteroid. So whenever you if you're using Asteroid, it uses Bootstrap 4, which is the latest version when we built Asteroid. But now that Bootstrap 5 is about to be released, Joomla team kind of took this veto vote and said, okay, you know what? We're going to add Joomla, we're going to add Bootstrap 5 to the final release and not put it on a older release, which was kind of a good idea because for years Joomla has been running an older version of Bootstrap which is a problem for template developers but at the same time it's not a good idea because at you know at the very end you have a lot of errors you need to do a lot of testing and then you're pushing the release date of the project away that has been delayed for a very long time already so you know my, my feelings on this are kind of uh, kind of mixed right I'm not against it and I'm not for it either but it's exciting to see what's happening you can I can see the new UI right I can see the difference in the UI which is the bootstrap 5 UI and apart from the visible difference obviously this brings in a lot more power uh, to your website as well you know it brings in accessibility uh, to a certain extent it brings in a good SEO to a certain extent you know a lot of uh, other things are added behind the scenes when you're coding the website based on bootstrap uh, provided CSS and HTML right so those things would be there I kind of sneaked around before I started the video I could not find anything different apart from uh, apart from you know just the bootstrap thing so we're gonna have to leave it as it is I don't see if anything else was added and even the blog post says right this is like the one of the major things that were added I'm sure there were other smaller changes and fixes that I probably missed or whatever but this is like one of the major changes that were done to this version so it'd be exciting to see where we go from there and how soon the newer version is released i think we're almost there we are beta 7 so i think we might have like two to three more betas beta 10 or something and that might be the release of joomla 4. so we'll see how that happens and that's it let us know your feedback if you like bootstrap 4 or hate it for that matter and that's it. Thank you for tuning in.